so we built everything else. Now it's time for home kick cleats. Boom! So sh should you and me maybe stick together then? Eric, so you know we can't actually buy anything footwear related. I got it. We're just setting the rules. I got it. I don't know why I'm going this way because I know exactly where concrete is. It's that way. <laughs> Wait, toilet seats? Toilet seats. Wait a minute. You think Eric can uh, make cleats out of toilet seats? No. No? But it's a $100 budget. $100 budget? Yeah. You got to make two shoes. Do you have an idea of what you're doing? Kind of. Kind of? I don't know what I'm doing yet. I mean, my backup plan is... Why are you going to do a backup plan? Go to your number, not a backup plan first. I gotta get wood. Wood? Duct tape, like hinges. How are you gonna make cleats out of that? <laughs> I wanted to have something, the outer coating of my shoes. I'm gonna get one of these. They're basically like the highlighter vests that you can get for construction workers. I think this is thick enough. Do I go bright yellow or bright orange? All right, well, let's get concrete first then. We're already here. Yeah. Concrete. Concrete. I need to get some buckets. In a moment. For that section. What else do you need? Hmm. I do want to color it. If I mix concrete and paint, will that work? All right. So chat we got working. Chat GPT, DIY, homemade cleats. Thanks. This is a lot. Creating baseball cleats without purchasing shoes presents a unique challenge. They're not wrong. Some adhesive, strong glue, and a few other items. But every shoe needs shoelaces. I'm gonna start off with this here, so. I found these magnets. I was thinking it might be a good way of like collapsing the things. Yeah, and then I was thinking like, I'd build it so that this is made out of magnets so that they'll fold on top of my foot and that'll secure it. Right. I might I might just buy shoelaces. So. I will, might I be missing out, man, I'm telling you. you might be missing out. <laughs> What'd you get? You got concrete? Dude, clean up after yourself, dude. Dude, I'm not even you done yet. You expect these Home Depot people to like clean it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I got my cleats. What are you doing? Where's Kev? Went to find Kev. Kev! Kevin's not here. Kevin! Kev! Kevin's not here. What? Where's Kev? What if I just made skis? Yeah, dude. So you're gonna be like that? And I'm gonna be right next to you with this. Like that. Let's go check out, see what the damage is. Let's see who's over budget. The $20 one, the cook and comfort. You up next? Ah, it's so bright. <laughs> wow, everyone's pretty wow. close. Baby, are you ready? Fastest right. baby, fastest baby, fastest 7609. Hurry up. I'm it's trying, like I'm trying. Oh, okay, Ooh. we made it. So. Finally found some time to start our homemade cleats. I truly believe it's gonna be the hardest homemade challenge we've done as of yet. I bought this outdoor carpet. So this is what's gonna be the bottom and this will be the inside part of the shoe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put my foot on these two pieces. I'm gonna cart like draw on them. Basically I'll cut this out form that I can fit form around a foot and I'll do two sides and I'll glue it all down using shoe glue. And then once it's all done, I'm gonna install these as my cleats. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of DDIY. Don't do it yourself. Today we are making homemade cleats and I'm not quite sure where to start. However, the materials that we're gonna be using today, got this mat for the bottom of the cleat. I'm gonna be using these anti-skid pads. I might be using these Velcro pads. And of course, we've got our Gorilla Tape here. Every homemade series that I've done probably has this tape. All I know is that Eric's gonna be doing concrete cleats and if I can't beat that, I think I need to quit doing these challenges. Now it's time to make my homemade concrete cleats. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Let's go, baby. Of course, we got the concrete here, man, for the boys. Okay, these are gonna be my outside of my shoes, and I got my unused Nikes I got at home, and I'm gonna fill it up with concrete to about right here. So anyways, let's get to it. To make duct tape shoes. Alrighty, I'm actually back at the facility because I realized there's something I forgot. The other fucking mat that I purchased. This is the material I was supposed to use for my cleats, so let's see if this works. Oh my god, this is this is a lot. Yeah, this is a bad look. But you know what would be worse? Not knowing your credit score. Anthony, do you know your credit score? I do not. That's not good. Kevin, do you know your credit score? Yes. Is it good or bad? Oh. Next question. Chelsea, do you know your credit score? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what a credit score is? <laughs> you may think a credit score is no big deal, but if you're dealing with a low credit score or no credit score at all, that could be a problem for your future financial goals, and you could end up like this jabroni, making homemade cleats out of concrete. 
But luckily for us, Time Secured Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is there to help you build your credit score safely with everyday purchases. And with no annual fees, interest, or credit checks to apply, you can use it everywhere a Visa Credit Card is accepted, even at the plate. Strike! Uh, actually, uh, umpire, this is for you. That's a ball. And with Chime checking account, you can get paid up to two days earlier and have fee-free overdraft with SpotMe. Hey, Kev, I'm really struggling with these overdraft fees. Can you help? No, but Chime can. Your credit's a big deal, so build yours up with Chime. Just open a Chime checking account with a $200 plus qualified direct deposit to get started. And get started at Chime.com slash Momentum. That is Chime.com slash Momentum. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank NA, member FDIC. Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. On time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. Now let's get back to the content with a good credit score and bad cleats. I'm gonna cut these out and then I'm gonna put them back on here and I'm gonna stencil them so I have two the exact same. I have the soles in my shoes. Plan is stick these in. I'm trying to plan out where to put my cleats. Should be good to go. <laughs> That's my cleat. Okay. It's pen. Damn! All right, let's get to these jabronis. First up, mask up so I don't get cancer. Cancer is bad. How do you? I don't know if I'm doing this right. You gotta take care of your lung, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get cancer, you know what I'm saying? I recently got in a car car wreck, and honestly, my perspective now has completely changed. I wanna live long, you know? I don't, I don't wanna die soon, all right? Let me live! Yo, what up, world? My main thing I'm gonna use, all-purpose interlocking flooring, Gorilla duct tape, a Gorilla waterproof patch and seal, paracord for laces, and these little L brackets is a hole punch, and these reinforcement labels. Yeah, let's get to it. I don't think these are gonna be that comfortable. I don't have to wear it for that long. These are not gonna be good. I am not confident. There's a few times in your life that you go through and you have an idea and you don't think it's gonna work. That's how I feel right now. But at least it's not concrete. I don't have enough structure in the soles, so I'm gonna take this duct tape that I found. I'm gonna add some rigidity to it. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm actually wearing our Momentum anime shirts. We got all the crew here. We got Tosh, Eric, myself, Trev, Channer Price. So go ahead, if you haven't copped this shirt yet, go check it out. It's kind of sick, dude. So I'm gonna put this like this, and this is actually going to form our sole. Dude, it's actually not bad. It's kind of got a almost like a sandal look to it, but the sole is starting to come together. I wonder what Kevin's doing right now. I wonder if he's struggling as much as I am. I wonder if he's having fun while he's doing this. Next thing we're gonna do, boom, cleats. The idea is to put the cleats like this, but see if I can replicate the uh, cleats would look like under here. So I think we'll have just one back here. Kinda need cleats on the front to be able to push off of. My only worry with the waterproof patch seal tape is that it might be too thick. I guess we'll have to see. All right, concrete time. Oh God, so heavy. That was super heavy. Okay, now mix up some water. Okay, mix it up. I'm the king of concrete. Concrete just feels nice when it's getting ready, you know what I'm saying? All right, now we're gonna dump a bunch on here. So now we're gonna glue these to each other. Got the adhesive in there. These two layers of sole taped together and they're gonna be left to adhere overnight. These are the bottom of my cleats. And if you're wondering, Wow, those look really wide, it's because they are. I need space for the hack job that my sewing will be when I try to connect them all. I have no idea how this is gonna work, but we're gonna work from the bottom up. Let's put duct tape all around this, then we're gonna screw these in. Okay, so whether it works or whether it doesn't, we successfully drilled in our first rubber cleat. You can see here that we now have our cleats screwed into the bottom of the sole. We do have what resembles cleats at the bottom. <laughs> Putting this rubber so I think we're gonna go around first. We're gonna have to find a way to tape this on. We're gonna try and go ahead and enforce this. We'll take the rest of the remaining rubber from this mat and we're gonna go ahead and lay it across like this. This will then give me an opportunity to put my foot in here and that's just, that's just what it's gonna have to be. I don't know what I'm gonna do from here. I think I'm just gonna stress eat. So shout out to Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's, want us, why not? Ice cream at three in the morning. What's up guys? Comment down below if you find Eric's <laughs> ideas with the concrete to be oh, amazing. Video. Tell us which one in the comment section below. He didn't participate in homemade glove. That was the very first edition that we did. Maybe he makes a concrete glove next time we do concrete no, some gloves. So he this says he's it. not, but he's going to. Oh my Let us know if you think please. he's cheating. I am not putting cheating! The shoes. Can you film the shoes, please? Anyway, so if you guys enjoy <laughs> this content. <laughs> Ow. 
Ow, concrete. There are bits and pieces of concrete in there. It's not going as I planned. It's a little uneven. That's <laughs> uh, okay. But now I gotta figure out how to put it all together. I have a Dremel from home. We're gonna start making little grooves. Don't judge me, this is gonna be freehand. I think that's gonna work. So, the idea is this to go there, and I'm gonna be able to tie it to make it tighter. <laughs> Here's my shoe that I made out of carpet. So it's got laces, it's got a tongue. It's gonna be open toe because I can't do anything about that. But that's what the shoe will look like. I'm gonna dremel some areas and then I'm gonna attach it with thread. And that will be my clue. Oh snap. This initially looks like it works. I just, I don't know how much I trust it. <laughs> These look like bowling shoes. <laughs> Pretty much got one shoe done, gotta make the other. All of this hard work, all the good, all the bad has led to this moment and I'm pretty excited to share it with you. This is as close as I've gotten to being happy with a shoe. You might be wondering why I have these Velcro right here. Well, this is actually gonna act as my shoelace. Shoe is on, right? And we're gonna put it just like that. And it doesn't look half bad. Dude, what are you doing? No! They're gonna be your Snickers sneakers. <laughs> We have successfully made it this far, so hopefully this hardens. Obviously, I'm not gonna stay like this all day. I ain't got time for that. We'll see Sophia. I'm gonna do this for a little bit, and I'll put the paper towel in here so it hopefully stays, and hopefully it hardens the way I think it's gonna harden. We'll find out, though. This is not the way I planned to. All right, so we got our homemade cleats. It's competition time. So first round is looks. So we have our wonderful judges over there. Tim, we got Kristen. It's one of us, we're gonna explain what we did for our shoes. I guess I'm up first. As you can see, very great traction. Double layered uh, rubber. New boot goofing. New boot goofing. Yeah. I tried my hardest. Okay. Look like a good old pair of grandma shoes there. <laughs> Appreciate it. Is that a yeah. shade or a compliment? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe traction. both. I don't know. Mine is made all out of rubber mat. I've got some Velcro across to keep my heel in at the bottom. Some rubber screws. So that way I can get nice little like that action. Oh, oh, is the elite baseball cleat. He throws a baseball sticker on there just to show that they're baseball cleats. Yeah, yeah, to like yeah. Prove yeah, to us yeah. that they're baseball. Exactly. <laughs> Got my uh, Field of Dreams inspired uh, cleats here. Cleats on the bottom are the little screws. Yeah, it's already collecting dirt here. Just duct tape, and then the sole is like a rubber mat. Gives me like ballerina vibes, like the thin like yeah, yeah. sock With the sock. shoe looking thing. Don't ever do that again. Why? Oh, oh, oh. Why? I almost got cleated. Again, bonus points from me right now. As you reference Shoeless Joe Jackson and Field of Dreams, which yes. is my favorite baseball movie. Don't fall for that. I'm liking hey, it. Don't fall for unbiased. that. Unbiased. Yeah, unbiased. Don't, don't fall for that. <laughs> and then I brought my uh, homemade helmet for good luck because I won that competition. So. Okay, Eric. <laughs> Concrete. I'm actually in a lot of pain, so judges hurry the fuck up. My feet are actually hurting right, really so bad. Eric and Lit. Oh my god! Yeah. My heart just sank! Yeah. It looks like you're ready to be thrown at the bottom of a lake. Yeah. <laughs> I think we could start with, like, what is the definition of a cleat? I'm flexing. I'm flex. Are we flexing? I'm flexing. <laughs> oh! How long can you bounce on one leg? <laughs> You were one fall away from us seeing to get you a new shirt, dude. Yeah. <laughs> hold, yeah. hold it with yeah. the cop the merch at king of G.com, baby. So as a consensus, we took into account durability, how well the cleats would perform. Unfortunately, <laughs> coming into last is Eric's moon shoes. If anything, take, take mine's the most durable. Take um, a spot right here so everyone can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Go take me a while. Yeah. <laughs> coming in third place is cool. So that, wow. you know, it's because of those little molded cleats in the bottom that's meant for like, you know, young kids. It's not really great for the endurance of running at the higher level. What do you know Keep about that energy level? up all day. I'll judge you got a baseball level. reference page. Yes, yeah, you have a baseball <laughs> reference page. I got a baseball reference page. So second and first place, you know, Tosh, like I, I like the traction of your cleats. It reminded me of crampons that I hike with. However, the toe exposure is kind of what docked you points. We got you at second place. And then that brings wow. the winner. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice work. On to the next round. Woo! So the next challenge is taking off your shoes and putting them back on in a minute. Three, two, one, go. Like this. Boom. Hey, I'm out. I'm, I'm out. out. Go back in. Squid. I'm going back in. I'm out. I'm done. I'm the out. first place. Shout out to Concrete Cleats. Out. All right, and slow. I am back in. You gotta tie the shoelaces. I don't think your foot's all the way in. My foot is in. It's been in. Right. Tosh is locked in. 45 seconds in. No. <laughs> I can't tie. And dog. done. Done. Right, nice work. Everyone did it under a minute. Eric, your cleats are coming in useful. In and out, like 
Yeah, first you were the place. champ, man. You got first place on he's that. He's not even in. What do you he's mean? He's not even in. What do you mean? I'm going to drop kick you. <laughs> I will drop kick you with these. Hey, it's not worth it, man. <laughs> Everyone gets five points. Hold All right, back. on to the next challenge. Here we go. Next challenge is home to home. You ready? <laughs> Set, go. Hey, hold on, hey, hold on. Hey, Let hey, me get hey, 10 hey, seconds hold start. Up. That hurts so bad. On your mark. Get set. Uh, go. Uh, uh, ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, Devin. Uh, Cole. Ow. Uh, first, second, third. First, fourth. Uh, oh, he's uh, rounding first. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I don't quit. Juco Bandit, don't quit. Concrete is cardio. Now we're going backwards, all right? Four hours later. <laughs> yeah, I can already see it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The concrete came out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why are we doing home to home? Oh, and someone give me a hand? Clean. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I think the bins were holding you back, buddy. What's the time? At what time am I at? You can do it. Come on. Come on, You got to get down, though. Come on. You got to get down. Can I do the Euro step? Let's go! Uh, come on! Uh, Side! Uh, 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 yeah! This is gonna be a two part uh, scoring system. Points for basically being the first back, back to home. First place, Cole. Second place, Kev. Tosh, third place. And unfortunately, Eric, uh, you got thrown out. Now we go on to the, uh, the second part, which is functionality. Uh, I felt like as a group, like you three, cleats were maintained. They didn't break. My vote is honestly the same thing first second third kevin's ran around quick obviously tosh and cole speed got great cardio there a lot better than my, my boy eric over there so, so you have it, kevin is one tosh second yep. cole third yep wow oh we're torn between first and second they should duke it out okay, we breaker. gotta do a okay. tiebreaker oh man we gotta All run right. again <laughs> right, three two one go Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's got Kevin. the burners oh. on. Oh. <laughs> Tackle him. Tackle him. Tackle him. <laughs> so there we have it. Kev first. Nice work. Cole second. Tosh third. Eric fourth. Time to hit. Next competition, we got hitting. So we got three swings, and then the judges are going to see how we do. Please catch it. Please catch it. Oh, my. So. Catch it, Kev. Is that a tank for a swing? Uh, nope. No, no, no tank. Still a good piece though. Double though. Shoes look great. Oh! What are we at? That's a tank. Lay out! Ah! I'm hitting next. I can't do a leg kick, it's unfortunate. You should try. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh. Got you. Athlete! Oh no. Okay. Side contact. Uh, ah, so <laughs> I have no God, come on! <laughs> Eric, I think she's 42. Cardio is really important, kids. You know, he's strong, he's 280, but it's not looking good. Oh my God! Oh, oh. Did I no almost power. get you? No I mean, wait room! No room. Wait room! <laughs> Shut up! Are you able to feed in those? Uh, <laughs> not known much for my power, but give me something good to hit here, huh? That's a good feed. You just suck. Oh, room. No juice. This is really up Cole's alley. Like, you can't really tell much of a difference between him hitting with these cleats and any other sets of cleats that he's had on. Oh, by you! That was on you. That was not on you. That was on you. That was on you. That was on you. I didn't see anything different. So. No, it looked the same as in yeah. the cage or when he wears his normal stuff. Do you think Kev has a, a bunt in him or what do you think he has going on? Uh, I think he might have a bunt. Just bunt. Oh! That was a quick pitch. And that's about as good of contact as Eric had. Oh! Lift it! Oh! oh. Right, out the, right out the judges. All right, friends. Let's go. We had some good potential here, but some missed opportunities. I hate yeah. to say it, but coming in last, Eric. What do you mean? Dis disappointments, man. You were hitting 42s. I've seen tanks out of you. I saw you falling down on your ass from back there. Be better, kids. All right, Eric, you're last. <laughs> coming into third, we got Kevin. Uh, we expected wow. a bunt out of you today just because you didn't lift small bunt the ball at least one time. Oh. You did not oh, bunt. Oh, just because you didn't bunt? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Coming into second, we got Tosh. Oh. You know, 
I've seen a lot wow. more better potential out of you. Oh, and I, I just feel uno. like you know at this little league field, it was just kind of wow. the trajectory wasn't there. So and for the that, and the winner we got is Cole. Wow, wow. I, I am genuinely surprised. The performance in these Ronald McDonald cleats are the same <laughs> as, <laughs> as you'd be wearing in normal cleats in the cages and on the in the field. So uh, overall, good job, Cole. Last competition we got fielding. I'm making an ultimate decision. These concrete cleats are no bueno. It really hurt my feet. So I'm making a switch now. Uh, last round was gonna be with uh, Kevin Ski. So uh, bring him out here, Kev. I'm gonna hold a glove if I'm running. What else? Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got three ground balls. Oh, look at that footwork. They look pretty, pretty snazzy there. Fly ball's gonna be tough. Oh, get there. Wow. He's gotta get one more forehand. Ooh, all those look very good. <laughs> oh. Eric, I cannot wait Ooh. for your round, dude. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. That feels pretty that heavy. Very <laughs> that feels though. pretty heavy. Diving play. Oh! oh! <laughs> Judges, that should be no! negative points right there. Look at Tim just shaking that might have just, That might have just cost me. Disappointed. Oh. Okay. There we go. Made up for on that one. Damn! That was pretty yippy. Ready? Time out. Yes, sir. What? I'm ready! Best part of the video right here. Come on. <laughs> I can't Charge! Get, there. get there, coach. Hit it to me, coach. Here, you should actually try and make a throw on this one. One! Oh! Hey! Wow! Hey, hey, hey. wow. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Touch! <laughs> My belly's cramping. How does fat cramp? You sure you want this? Oh God. Backhand, let's go! Backhand? No! <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Give it a little closer. Play out, man! Show some I effort! I tried! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude! <laughs> oh, <fuck>. oh. <laughs> he pulled it again. <laughs> I think I'm done. That hurt. This ski sucks, Kev. You, you feel it just as many as I did, dude. Yeah, That's I'm awesome. Fucking. I made one, right? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Okay. There it is. There it is. Back in. Ooh. That looks pretty sweet. All right. Forehand. Let forehand. Someone's got let him have it. Oh. No. Yay! Yeah. 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 That was perfect. All right. Let's do some fly balls to get out of here. Balls. Oh. Oh. Hey, that looks pretty perfect. good. That looks that pretty easy. Easy, easy peasy. Easy. Lemon squeezy. Easy peasy what? Lemon squeezy. Who says that? Twelve people do. What are you, twelve? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh the grab! He almost yipped wow. it, but he made that catch. Nice That's a catch. catch. That's one! Oh, oh, yes, Tosh! Wow! Oh, wow. oh shoe fell off though! Oh, shoe uh -oh. fell shoe off! Fell off. He caught it, but the Dude. shoe fell off! Time. Your cleats! It's about your cleats, it's about not your the cleats! Catches. All right, Cole, you're next. Back step, back step, make this catch. Oh! Oh, falling! <laughs> oh. oh! All right, that was not, that oh, should have No, that, that, that was a misery that by was me! That was a misery by me, but still that caught. Was horrible. All right. That shows agility in those cleats, though, man. Hey, yeah, yeah. Misery, get back. I, I like that. I think that just showed unathleticism. Oh, oh no way. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Oh. <laughs> this just looks very unathletic. I, mean, I don't me, care, it's still caught! Oh. Too easy. All right, Kev, you're up. Woo! Terrible. Oh, hard one to be no. Oh. Too easy. Ooh. Kev's too fast. The helmet's uh working, huh? I mean it's working, but it's not very aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good oh, one. He's got to go. No He's got to go. No He's got to work. Dude, he wow. wow. He's making those look covers. He's covered. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, oh he almost oh. yipped it, though. Very he almost nice. yipped it. All right, Eric. Okay. I'm just going to play from here because I can't go that far. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Just say, hey, not too hard. Better catch this. Oh, that's right to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Throwing. <laughs> Ball oh, ball in, ball in! Ah! <laughs> yeah! yeah! Last one. Hey, he's got to catch one. at least one in it. Make a diving catch. We're making a diving oh catch. Oh my god! Oh, 
last thing I just rolled my ankle, rolled everything on my body. You do have a lot of rolls. Great final rounds, a lot of athleticism out there. Ultimately, it just came down to minor details of feeling. In fourth place, sorry, Eric, your cleats didn't make it that long. Great effort at the very end, nice catch. Uh, Cole, cleats missing, stumble, you know, on your heels in the fielding, that's what docked you. Tosh, you got second. Wow. Great catch, wow. I love the catch out there. And our winner, with 22 points, yeah. Kevin! Yeah. Yeah. Cuts. Bye. See ya. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>